Renaeus and Scurlery were talking quietly to Colby when Duncan stormed up, followed by Sir Handel. Hello, said Renaeus. Here we go. I nearly came off. Those coaches tried to push me. The thing controller says I didn't. We have no money to mend you, he said. And if it happens again, we'll leave you at the back of the shed. Why does he always pick on me? It's not fair. As you were saying, Coldy, said Renaeus. You only had a little bit of coaches, but did you ever take more? Oh no, our line is just too steep. We were only allowed one. We each have our own coaches. My coach is named Catherine. I know her well. That's really important. Why? asked Sir Handel. They're only coaches. Ours, said Coldy, is something more important. You pull your coaches so that you can see ahead. We push ours up so that we can't see. They watch the line for us. The guard watches too, of course. But Catherine is so clever that I only know it once if there's anything wrong. It's a lot of work climbing up the hill. Coming downwards is much more different. We just roll. Climbing up mountains must take a lot of risks. That, said Coldy, was just the mistake poor Godred made. Who, asked the little engines, is Godred? Godred was our number one, named after a king. Perhaps that went to his smoke box. He would just never keep a good lookout. He would just look anywhere but the rails. You'll have an accident, I told him. Pooh, he said. I've got automatic brakes, haven't I? And drive as good as air brake. What more do you want? More sense from you. No engine can take risks if he's not ready. The driver, the fireman, and the manager all spoke to him. They even took him to pieces to see if anything was wrong. But he'd just go on in the same old way. One day, I was waiting at a station for Godred to pass me. And then it happened. One moment, he was on the rails, and in the next, his driver's fireman jumped clear as he rolled down the hill. No one was hurt. The coach stayed on the rails, and the driver braked her to a stop. They brought Godred home the next day. We have no money to mend you, they said, so you'll go to the back of the shed. As time went on, poor Godred got smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, and smaller till there was nothing left. Whoa, what happened? asked Duncan anxiously. It's not very nice to say, said Coldy. But what happened? Why isn't it nice? Our drivers used Godred's part to mend us. Duncan and Sir Handel were usually silent after Coldy had gone home. Neither Scarlet or Renaeus ever mentioned that Colby had made that story up.